Scientists from the Scripps Institution of Oceanography and a Chicago aquarium are putting tags on the massive Nassau grouper fish. These scientists are counting the number of fish in this aggregation or group. Ecologist Bryce Simmons is with Scripps. While historically there were as many as maybe 100,000 individuals at the largest of these aggregations, in a contemporary context today, an aggregation of over 1,000 fish is, is you know, one of the largest remaining aggregations. Nearly two decades ago, when the Cayman Islands government found a large population of fish, it decided to protect them with the marine protected area, where no one can fish. The government teamed up with Scripps researchers to figure out whether this strategy worked. They weren't the best approach to management. It turns out, for instance, um, in efforts to tag fish and figure out where they're coming from, we found out that um, every single reproductive aged individual in the population went to the spawning site. Those mating sites are outside these protected areas, so fishermen continue to fish there. But with scientists' help, the Cayman Island government changed their conservation policies to make these species protected during spawning season. Just over a decade ago, one population of Nassau grouper had about 1,000. Now it has over 7,000. For the species of Nassau grouper, nobody's ever demonstrated recovering the population following overfishing. But once these locations have been fished out, once these spawning sites have been fished out, Nobody's ever seen them recover before. We're the first to show that that happens. Simon says researchers plan to continue these tracking efforts. He also says the success shows how science can effectively shape government policies. Shalina Chautlani, KPBS News.